Hi friends, what's up and welcome back to my channel. It feels so good to be sitting down and filming a video. I took a week off, I just got back from vacation. I went with family to Orlando, we went to Universal Studios, it was so much fun. And now we are back to business. I feel like every time I take a break from filming, I always come back and I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel like I've missed so much because the makeup world moves fast and I was like what better video to film coming back than a purchase or pass video we got to talk about the new makeup releases in the past week there has been some makeup releases I'm like whoa adding to cart right now without hesitation we're gonna dive into everything grab a snack grab something to drink or play me in the background if you're doing your makeup or whatever let's get into all of the new makeup releases <music> First new release we're gonna talk about is from e.l.f. e.l.f. just came out with the Putty Color Correcting Eye Brightener. And I feel like the timing on this is absolutely perfect because NARS just came out with one that is $30 and we know e.l.f. gives us dupes. I don't know if this is a dupe, but it is an affordable option to the NARS Afterglow one. And I ended up picking up two of these. I actually feel like, I think they're out for delivery today, but I ended up picking up two of these and I'm very excited to try this out in a video just to see if we have a good under eye brightener brightener. I don't really use this type of product often, but it's also because I haven't really found the right product for me personally. So I'm really, really hopeful that this is going to be good. Elf has been coming out with so many really good staples. I am very excited to try this out. Of course, this is a purchase. I also feel like the shade range on this is pretty good. A release from Elf that I purchased without hesitation. And also this shipped very fast. I think I got this in like two days, but they just came out with the liquid poreless putty primer i'm actually wearing this on one side of my face today i know weird i just filmed a tiktok you know trying this out for the first time and this primer is literally the putty primer except in a liquid form i feel like this is so much easier to blend and use i felt like with the putty primer i had to really work it into the skin with this it's a liquid so it's so easy to just put it on i feel like it does blur out the skin and smooth it over I feel like if you love the putty primer you are going to love this. I also find that you're going to be reaching for this one probably more because it is easier to blend and easier to use. So this is definitely a win for me. I'm planning on using this in an upcoming testing new makeup video. Next release we have is from Made by Mitchell. And oh my gosh, am I so excited because for some reason... Maybe it's all of my spamming of the comments under all of their posts, but every time they release something new, my first question under the post is, is this coming to Beauty Bay? Will this be coming to Beauty Bay? When is it coming? And now I've noticed that literally every new launch so far that he's released has gone straight to Beauty Bay and I'm excited. I placed a huge order from Beauty Bay this morning of all the new makeup releases. So there's so much to dive into. So if you're a fan of Made by Mitchell like I am, I definitely recommend picking up his products from Beauty Bay. Let me go through all the new products that he just came out with. So the first new product he came out with is the Gel Gleam Cream Eyeshadow. These are $16 each. So these are basically like a cream eyeshadow. And I had literally all of these shades in my cart i was like ready to purchase these they just came out with two new color cases and i live for the color cases i think that's definitely one of my favorite products from made by mitchell every product that i've tried there's been there's really been any products that i've disliked from made by mitchell but i definitely feel like the color case is one of my favorites next to the blush and some other products but he just came out with a pastel color case which honestly is so perfect all of the pastel palettes that i use are pigmented on their own you know just imagine using this color case with the pastel palettes the shades are going to be unbelievably vibrant now he also released another color case and this one is more grungy smoky cool toned fantasy kind of vibe and i picked this up do i wear shades like this no, but I feel like it's gonna come in handy for a nice smoky eye or just for those different creative grungy looks. So I am very excited about these. I purchased both of these. These are both on Beauty Bay right now if you're interested in them, but I highly recommend the color cases if you love a good multi-use product because this is truly a multi-use product. 
Also, I am sorry if my voice sounds a little weird. I, like I said, I went to Universal Studios and I kind of feel like my voice is not fully back yet from all the screaming I was doing on the rides. So if I sound crazy, that is why. Another launch that he just released is a bronzer book. Now, I didn't pick this up. I didn't even pick up the blush book only because, you know, like I said, I don't use talc powder products. So I did skip out on this, but I wish that I could have gotten both of these. But yeah, so far, Made by Mitchell has really been killing it a lot lately. Also just put up his new blush lights on Beauty Bay and some other products as well. I did pick up a few of those. They are so beautiful and... I cannot wait to get my hands on it. I'm gonna do a collective makeup haul soon. The next release we have is from Give Me Glow Cosmetics. And I have never tried this brand before, but they are truly on my wish list. I do wanna try out this brand, but they're coming out with a new palette. This is the Juicy Blueberry Palette. And oh my gosh, this is not the most beautiful palette ever. It is so stunning. It's gonna be $45 and it is a tin pan mini palette. Kind of nervous about the fact that it is $45 and it's a mini palette, but they did say it's because there are two multi-chrome shades in here and I do know multi-chrome shades are pretty expensive, but just wanted to show this in case you guys are a fan of Give Me Glow. I've heard you guys rave about this brand. Trust me, they are on my wish list and I have been eyeing the brand and I may or may not pick this up. This one's gonna be a maybe for me. I need to really see the sizing of this palette to really figure out if it's gonna be worth the $45 price tag for me. Huda Beauty is coming out with color correctors. These are gonna be $29 each, and honestly, I love Huda Beauty so much. I love a lot of their releases, but I cannot see myself spending $29 on a color corrector, especially when e.l.f. has my favorite color corrector for $4. I, I can't see myself spending a lot of money on something I know the drugstore does really well. So I'm gonna skip out on this. There are so many new cream eyeshadow releases. And this next one is from Moira. Moira is coming out with lots of goodies. They did send over this collection to me and I actually am wearing, you know, three shades, but I did top it with, you know, a shade from the new ABH Cosmos palette and they're $7.50 each, I believe. Talk about a steal. If you love cream shadows, you have an affordable option right here. I do like them. I feel like they blend really easily. I feel like when it comes to a cream shadow, if you're not gonna set it with a powder, then I wouldn't recommend layering cream shadows on top of each other because then it will just pick up the product underneath but for a nice one and done eyeshadow kind of look, perfection. It looks like Blend Bunny Cosmetics is giving us another palette and I haven't even seen the color story. The color story hasn't even been revealed, but I'm gonna get it. I just need to have it. I absolutely love Blend Bunny's palettes. I love their formula. I love everything about the brand. So whatever this palette is gonna be, giving grunge you know, pastel and grunge meeting together. So I don't know what it's gonna be, but just know I'm going to get it and I'm gonna review it. We're gonna try it out together on camera. So I'm very excited about this release. The next release we have is from Rem Beauty. It looks like we're getting three new plumping lip glosses. I've never tried their lip gloss formula. Uh, so if you have, let me know. I am gonna pass on this because this doesn't look like, I don't really need another lip gloss, you know? But I'm gonna pass on this. Let me know if you guys like this though. Next up, we have another Space Cosmic release, and this one is from Too Faced. This is the Cosmic Crush Collection. We have a high pigment futuristic palette. It's very neutral with like one pop of color. Very interesting. We also have a glossy glow highlighter. I love the theming of this palette. I love the theming of this collection, but I'm gonna skip out on this. I feel like if I had to choose between this palette and the ABH one, I would definitely choose the ABH over this one. Now, the highlighters look very interesting, but I feel like that is a product I would pick up during the next Sephora sale. I don't think I'd run out to get it, but the palette is pretty neutral with like one pop of color. Like there's like purple pinky color. I am gonna skip out on this collection, but let me know what you think about this collection down All below. Right, let's talk about a collection that honestly, I knew it was coming, but I'm so, when I saw it, I was like, whoa, this is absolutely beautiful. So Lunar Beauty and Laura Lee Los Angeles have collabed. 
finally and we got a beautiful beautiful collection from the packaging the aesthetic even the color story is gorgeous i picked up this palette with the quickness because this is such a beautiful neutral palette i love color you all know i love colorful shadows but I can admire a really beautiful neutral palette. I really can. And this one is stunning. Like this, when I saw it, I was like, I got to have it. I got to have it. I am intrigued to know when I was watching their video, I was intrigued to know, you know, whose formula they were using for certain things. I was like, hmm, is this Lunar Beauty's formula? Cause I've tried it, but I've never tried Laura's formula before. But I kind of hope that it is Lunar Beauty. I already know that Lunar Beauty's formula is such a good formula, but I'm very excited about this palette. Let me know if you want to see a video on this palette. I didn't pick up anything else in the collection. I was going to get the brush set, but then I saw the brush set was $70 and I was like, are you joking? For six brushes, $70. So I passed on that, but I really wanted it. But I ended up just getting the palette and and I'm excited about it. So let me know if you want to see a video on this palette or if you want to see me use it in a testing new makeup video because I could do either or. I did skip out on the blush palette. Uh, I don't really buy many blush palettes to be honest, but half the time I can't use every single shade. So I'm just like, I don't need it, you know, because I'm like, I can't use all of it, but it is a really beautiful blush palette and I love how deep that it goes. So that is definitely a plus. This collection is just overall very stunning. I'm excited to play with the palette. Lab just gave us a new blush color. This is in the shade Lavender Blonde. It is a light pink purple. And I actually picked this up and I got it. I tried it out and it did not work for me and I was kind of disappointed. Online, it looks a lot darker than it actually is. And I was just like, it kind of was looking a little, like a tiny, tiny bit ashy on me. And I just wasn't vibing with it. I was like, I can't, I can't do it. But it is such a pretty color. I just wish that it was deeper. But then I feel like if it was deeper, then it'd end up looking like Acai Sky, but like not really. So I, I got it, but I ended up not liking the shade on me. So, but I love this blush formula. So that's why I picked it up without hesitation. Like if you like this blush shade, get it, try it out for yourself. The blush formula itself is beautiful. I love the formula. I just didn't love this shade on me. Next up, Danessa Myricks just came out with a yummy skin soothing serum skin tint foundation. Now I was gonna pick this up, but then I really thought about it. I don't like radiant foundations. After trying the Dior and really vibing with my matte finish foundations, I like the fact that I start off with a matte base and then I go on with products to make it glowy or dewy looking. I feel like it just ends up being better than starting off with a complete radiant, like a radiant glowy base starting off. So I am a matte finish kind of girl. I've I've decided that is my, that's my preferred finish. Um, so I skipped out on this. I would love to see more oily skin products, to be honest. I feel like Danessa herself has, I think she said she's had like oily or combo skin. So I'd love for her to create a, like a base product for oily skin or combo skin. Cause I feel like she already came out with the yummy skin another yummy skin foundation maybe, and now she's doing a tint. So I, I would love to see her do something more, you know, oily skin friendly when it comes to a base product. So I am gonna pass on this, but let me know if you like it. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if it's super, super radiant because if it's something I can work with, then I'd be down to try it. We have a Rare Beauty packaging dupe. Hard Candy just came out with a new lip oil. These are $8 each. And by first glance, I swear, I thought this was Rare Beauty. Like I did. Now, why would they take their packaging? Like, they know what they were doing. I think they knew what they were doing. Um, I don't know. I would, I would have tried this, but I feel like Hard Candy, I just wouldn't go out of my way to order from their website. I used to buy Hard Candy when it was at my Walmart, and then for some reason, all of my local Walmarts pulled all the Hard Candy products, which sucks, because I, I would love to try their new products, but I, don't just, I just don't think I would go out of my way to purchase this. If I came across it in stores, that's different, but I am gonna pass on this. We're talking about all the releases. I feel like I have so much to catch up on. So Kylie Cosmetics just came out with the new Tinted Butter Balms. These are literally just like the Makeup by Mario Plumping Lip Serums, except it doesn't have that plump situation. Um, and they did send these over to me in PR. I've only tried one shade so far. I've tried the nude shade. It's called She's Lovely. It's a really pretty, like, nudie, like, 
brown kind of shade. I feel like if you like the finish of the Makeup by Mario product, you'll like these, except it doesn't have like that tingly, pepperminty kind of feel. These are $18 as well, which are a lot cheaper than Makeup by Mario. But overall, it's a comfortable formula and I really like it. It's perfect for the summertime. Next up, we have a new release from e.l.f. This is the new Perfect Tint Eyeshadow Palette. So I did pick this up, I forgot to talk about it, but I haven't tried it yet. I was planning on using this in an upcoming video. I picked up the, which one is this? This is the, I don't know which, is this Ombre 10? I don't know, but what I do know is that I was searching on the Ulta website and I saw that they're coming out with way more palettes at Ulta. Maybe on the e.l.f. site, but Ulta has like the preview of them. I haven't tried this yet, but they said it's just like their bite-sized formula. They said it's the exact same formula. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some more. I feel like these will be great to travel with. And if this is like the bite-sized formula, I think I'm really, really gonna love it. And I'm also looking at the ingredients and there is no talc in this particular one right here. So, oh, this one's called Intergalactic, but I'm very excited to try this out. So I have two more releases I want to talk about. This I stumbled upon on Beauty Bay's Coming Soon page. This is new from e.l.f. This is the Sun Touchable Invisible Sunscreen. Wow, a lot of e.l.f.'s products have been getting like leaked or like, you know, sneak peeked really early. I feel like against their will, but um, I'm excited about a lot of the releases e.l.f. keeps dropping, but I think this is the product that I've been missing. I really love their Woe Glow sunscreen, but I found lately my skin has really been going through the oily phase and the glowy sunscreens are not vibing with me as much as I love them. So to have something more invisible, more matte, more not glowy is gonna be so exciting. So I cannot wait till this is actually released. It is available now on the Beauty Bay website, but I would not dare buy this off Beauty Bay because this says it's $16.95. And I think that's because of the SPF in here, but uh, I am not paying $16.95 for this when I know e.l.f. is probably gonna release it at $14. The last release I wanna talk about is from ColourPop. ColourPop reformulated their glossy lips, their matte lips, and their blotted lips. And Ulta actually has all of these. I don't think Ulta has all the shades, but I do have three of each formula in my cart, and I will be getting that probably when this video is over. I'm gonna go and hit buy and have that. Um, so I'm excited to try this out. I don't know how this formula is gonna be. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it really is new and improved. And it's great. Cause I really did not like the glossy formula and I don't know, there's not a lot of lip products from ColourPop that I like. I do like these So Juicy glosses but I feel like they kind of turn bad pretty fast. So hopefully these are good formulas that keeps me coming back for more. Right, friends, that is it for today's video. Definitely let me know your thoughts down below. I also wanted to say I am almost to 10K. I plan on doing some really big giveaways. I am so excited. So if you've watched this video and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Join the fam, hit that subscribe button down below. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Uh -uh.